So in this video, I'll be talking about the exact, what's my equipment that I use for my Nikon Z50 so I get this exact look, whether it's a client video, whether it's a YouTube video, or whether it's in your own home, office, bedroom, whatever it is, I'm gonna break down exactly what I use, the equipment that I use to get the best video and audio quality. And you're wondering, wait a minute, that's not really autofocus. The color's a little off, what's going on? Actually, this right here is my Nikon Z50. And let's start off with the basics. The most important thing is, is audio, right? And if y'all don't know yet, I always use, this is my go-to mic. I've used this for the past three, four years now. For even my client videos is, this is the Rode Link Wireless Lav. This is the original version where it is bulkier compared to the Wireless Go where it's much more compact, but it is still my go-to main audio source. And I have the recording levels set at seven where when I shot with this guy, the D5200, I shot it at the audio recording level six. So we're gonna get into what exactly is my setup and for audio as well this is the DAD D4 it has the double-ended mic so if I'm behind or front of the camera it doesn't really matter I can still record audio I made a video on that link in the description below and the most important thing is what is am I using to hold my Nikon Z50 I have the Manfrotto Advance compact super light super portable and it is my go-to tripod for when I want to run and gun and I have to it's just me I don't have any assistance carrying it this guy is super light carbon fiber you know goes about six feet in terms of height and what I like about it it has this button right here pull that off it is a quick release actually I'm gonna I'm gonna do it so uh y'all can see what I actually mean right because uh, people might be visual learners you know here you go see base plate bam bam you're ready to go Next is where we're talking about is lighting. And one of the magics is uh, you don't really see what's behind the shelf, it's a little messy, but that's the magic of video work, right? So right here, like you already know, you've seen that video, I am using the Mount Dog ring light. Check out the stats of the voltage, and it is the 16 inch version. What I like about it, if you haven't seen my other videos, it, I can change the color temps right here as well as it is dimmable. It uses the same tripod as all the stands as a little different compared to if, let's say if you get the newer, I'll talk about that guy in a minute, but this is the Mount Dog light stand, which I like because it is a different quality and it's not that twisty type of thing guy over there, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Solid tripod, but the thing with all these ring lights, the stands is, gets a little wonky sometimes so just make sure everything is tight and that is my main source I don't have it right here right in front of the ring light I have it just off to the side and if I were to want a little bit more lighting and it gets too dark I jump over here to this guy and this is the newer ring light and if you haven't checked the video that I made on this I already did one check that out link in the description as well as the link and the thing with all these uh, newer uh, lights is they don't have like made for stands that it's, it's just a weird attachment. And once you buy it, you'll understand what I mean. It is essentially this screw here that it tightens to this other stand, but it doesn't look really natural. Maybe it's just a manufacturing thing, but who knows? But this is the softbox that I use as well as a fill light for my YouTube videos if I wanted that extra little lighting and what I meant by these little screws is uh, you twist it it goes down you twist it again and it goes down so that is essentially my equipment Manfrotto I am a fan or user of a road link which I'm using right now which you can see the quality of it is clear I don't have to worry about any like rustling noise I did have to replace it once but that was on my clients fault because it kept they kept on dropping the mic pack, but it's it's still it's still alive, you know? Here is uh, my Mount Dog ring light, 16 inch. What I have here is a phone adapter. And because of, I can use SnapBridge to uh, record these videos and just to make sure that 
I am in focus and I don't use an external monitor, what I do is I hook up SnapBridge to my app, right? Download that, link in the description if you wanna see how you download that. And uh, come over here. I come over here, put my phone right here in the middle. Snap that on, see how it goes, bam. And I essentially use this as a external monitor while I'm filming with my Z50 right here so I can see what I'm filming and I use it as an essentially external monitor without having to get an external monitor. That's a little bonus hack. Phone attachment, all that, you can get that on Amazon. Link in the description if you wanna check that out. And last but not least, if you're already wondering, that is a coffee stain, don't worry about it. What chair am I using right now currently? I am using the Ikea Marcus chair as I just took off the armrest because it was bugging me, but it is my chair that I film now for most of my videos. And yeah, guys, this is my entire setup for my Nikon Z50 and how I get that YouTube studio-esque look for all my videos. And the more videos I film, the more I am to tweak and make my overall video quality viewing experience for you guys a little better. And like I said, every... Can I? No, I can't do that. Like I said, I was trying to flip that down, but... Uh, like I said, guys, this was uh, my overall setting for my Nikon Z50. And if y'all want to check out more of uh, everything that I mentioned, link in the description. Check that out. Link in the description below. Check out all my videos that I talked about and all the equipment. My name is Peter, and you're watching Broke Visionary Collective where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. So like I said, everything I mentioned is in the shop below. Click that to my Amazon storefront, watch all my videos on it. It helps me help you. And I have all the recommended gear that I just talked about and then some, right? So people are always like, hey, what, what lenses are you using over here? Or what's the best audio for X, Y, Z? Well, check the link and uh, it'll answer all your questions, right? Cheers. I wasn't pressing record. Shit. Let's do that again. Let's do it again. Don't you hate it when I don't press record? God damn it. The real, this is the real behind the scene, guys. The real behind the scenes.